Russian dollars was... Whispers from a Coffin. A story by Leonardo Chirinos. People always said that the Chan was dead. But actually, when there was a funeral, it was when he was most animated. Alice Munro. It's still close, Tony. Bastian stuttered, breaking the silence of the lonely room after getting in through the window. Shout my name again, for eyes, and I will shove that thing into you with my own hands. Tony replied from the outside. The night was dark, and every other glimpse of moonlight made their way through the thick clouds that ran fast across the pitch black sky. <laughs> Bastien shrugged and went through his pockets. He paled after realizing that there was nothing in them. Damn it! He exclaimed bitterly. I forgot the camera. Tony got angry. You have such a lucy memory, dummy. Congratulations! He's the boy, trying hard to keep his voice down. He went through his pockets, and before he could reach the camera, a knife cut his finger. He couldn't stop himself from swearing yet again. I can catch it from here, whispered Bastian, breaking through the empty chairs in the room. I am prepared, he added while taking his dirty backpack off his shoulders. Prepared? Tony frowned. You didn't bring your glove, did you? Bastian smiled. It was my father's. He said while putting the old baseball glove on his left hand. And I always uh, have it with me, you know, in case of emergency. You are such a cuckoo, Tony said, shaking his head. I'll toss you the camera, but if you drop it, don't even bother getting out. Well, whenever you want to. Bastian adjusted his oversized glasses over the bridge of his nose and put his hands up at chest level, trying to adapt the posture of a baseball player. The pitcher is getting ready, he whispered, satisfied to pronounce every single word correctly. Two outs, men on second and third base. At that moment, the metallic shine of the camera suddenly came flying out of the window and into the room, missing the place where the boy was standing by a yard. Play ball! He shouted as he took a leap backward. He made a half twist in the air, and by raising his arm, he touched the camera with his glove. His ribs crashed on the floor, and his glasses were pulled out under the chairs. He lost his breath. Tony heard the noise from the outside. Got it? He asked, pressing his head against the wall. I heard something, but I don't think it was. Got it? Bastian interrupted, muttering in pain. Yes! Tony celebrated, raising his hands. The sky was overcast, and a dog was barking at the distance. You know what comes next? He reminded him. Bastian got up from the ground as the crowd cheered widely. In that imaginary game inside his head, a huge crowd celebrated the skillful way he had caught the camera. <laughs> he realized he was smiling like an idiot, and once again, he felt chilled to the bone. He was still listening to the cheers and rounds of applause, and for a moment, he wasn't sure if it was just his imagination. He turned his head toward the other side of the cold room, and there it was the shape of what awaited him. The coffin. <laughs> 